Hi everybody, Jillian here. I have a bit of a different video for you today. I want to show you what is in my Bible journaling bag. So this is a bag that I lug around. It is just a tote bag that I got from Old Navy. I think it was like six dollars um, and it's chambray with like cream colored straps. So in this bag is everything that I take with me to do Bible journaling on the go. So recently my dad had um, open heart surgery and I was in the hospital with him for quite some time and so like this is everything that I took with me in the hospital every single day in addition to my purse and sweater and stuff so I just want to show you guys um, what I take with me I'm always fascinated by like how people pack things and organize things I don't know if that's just me but um, I thought you guys might like to see it so um, what's in this bag are just smaller bags so for instance I think you guys saw this last week this is a studio calico bag that an old documenter kit came in and in this bag I have all of my favorite washi tapes uh, just random ones these are from the create 365 for me and my big ideas these are um, this is an illustrated faith washi tape and then I have some of the kit washi tapes from the illustrated faith devotional kits so um, just use this handy little bag and kind of fit all of them in there just so so that it closes up and then I have this bag here that I think everybody has. I saw it on Amy Tandrine's channel and loved it. I think it's a cosmetics bag, but I ended up getting it for my birthday. I'm going to go through this one last, but I wanted to take it out because it's the largest. Next I have this uh, canvas pouch and it has my Faber-Castell big brush pens in it. And I got this canvas pouch from Hobby Lobby. Uh, at the time, all of the um, Illustrated Faith canvas pouches had come out at Dayspring and um, they had, you know, Illustrated Faith on there. And so I thought, well, I'll just paint my own. Obviously that never happened. I bought it with this little like paint mistake on it. <laughs> um, and I think I got like a little discount. So this was just a few dollars at Hobby Lobby. That's what I keep my markers in. Next I have my Bible squeezed in here and then I keep a notebook and whatever book I'm reading on the bottom and I just write things in here and you know notes and just random things that I want to remember. I think this is from Lifeway. It was also a gift. It says markings by C.R. Gibson on the back. So just a journal. And then, so now that's all that is in this bag. So this is from Target. It is from Ashley Mary. I think I have seen smaller ones still on the shelf. So if you're interested in it, I think they're still there. So basically fit everything in here, like tool wise and sticker wise. So it has this large section in the middle here. And then it has a smaller pocket in the back. And then it has two kind of flaps on the sides, and I'll go through each one. So in the middle here, I just have everything. I have my notes for uh, Sunday sermons. This is just what I, I jot notes down in, and then I go back and journal them in my Bible. Uh, this is one of those uh, traveler's inserts I got from Michael's from their boho section, and I just painted it with some acrylic paint stamps and put some Amy Tangerine Alpha stickers on there. I have my bulletin. I have my stamps stored in a four by or two four by six six by eight page protectors, and this is probably my least favorite part about it. They fall out from the top, but it's still the best storage system that I've found. I totally copied Natalie on this. I will go ahead and link her video showing you guys how she stores her stamps because hers is very informational. So I just have my stamps in here and then those um, whose backer uh, you know came from a kit like this um, this is a good idea this is the the list by faith and then the chosen kid beautiful I'm not sure what it was called um, since the stamp backer was cut up I then just took some pattern paper that I liked and um, put that behind the um, put that behind the stamp so that I could see them Next, I have my Bible mat. It's getting a little bent in here, but that's one of my favorite tools to use. Then I have pretty much all of my alphabet stickers in here. Some of them are in packaging, some of them are out, and I honestly just keep all of my 
um, things in this bag. So even when I'm filming, I'm like reaching over to my left to go through my bag here to get my stickers out. So just things like that. I cut down the 12 by 12 sticker sheets that were much larger to be able to fit in the bag. Um, and then I just have some other random tile stickers in here. And then I have some printables. So I also keep my devotionals and things like that in here, but my printables like the uh, Revival Camp. I just put all of the printables from that into a Ziploc bag and then I keep that down in there with the stickers and things. I'm only on like week two. I'm kind of behind, so don't tell, but I'm looking forward to getting caught up. Uh, it's just some random packaging. And then these are my other printables uh, and cut-aparts from the cut-apart sheets from like the she Blooms collection and whatever is lovely collection. And then I also keep my printables in here so that I always have them with me. Pretty much the only thing that I could not fit in this bag are the 12 by 12 like pattern paper and transparencies and things like that. There's just some more random stuff, stickers, some notes from church, more stickers. Um, this is a washi booklet for Maggie Holmes. I think I've showed this in a video before. I keep this in here just because it's flat, but it has just strips of washi tape in there. This is the stamp set from the Yes and Amen, the most recent devotional. I don't have room for it in my uh, in my stamp storage yet, so it's just kind of floating around by itself. And then also the 6x8 stamp set from Studio Calico. It's just kind of floating around in there. Um, because I do not have a full 6x8 page protector at the moment. So I have some more stickers, another church bulletin, and then the uh, devotional. I don't keep these in the traveler's notebook because I don't really have one that I like. Okay, so that's everything. Oh, and then I have my date stamp, which kind of like floats around in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Next, I will show you the small pocket on the side. This just has some inks in it, and I usually keep my stamp block, so I have my water brush, this little ink pad. This is normally where I keep all of my inks, um, but I don't have them in my bag at the moment because they're just, there are so many of them, and it makes the bag, like, big and wonky. So I usually close the ink with uh, some washi tape. This is from Studio Calico. These are the other inks that I keep in my bag, the ones that I use the most. So I have some uh, archival ink in gray. This does bleed through, but I wanted a gray ink. Um, Studio Calico, and you can just see that I tape the um, I tape the lid down with washi tape so that it doesn't open in my bag and ruin everything or get ink everywhere. So those are not in the bag at the moment, but they, they do live in here. Uh, and let me put this. Actually, I keep my water brush in here. I learned to not keep water in it because I did it did like leak somehow. I don't I don't know. So in this first pocket here, I have this jam packed with stuff. I have a pair of scissors that I just keep at the back. I have my um, die cut packages from Illustrated Faith, and then just like random things. Um, things that don't fit in um, my other storage compartment. So the cut aparts from the stamp backers from the devotional kits. I have just um, another 12 by 12 sticker sheet cut down. Some tags from American Crafts I thought I might use in my Bible. And then these are um, my alpha stickers that are just different manufacturers. Simple Stories, Studio Calico. I like to kind of keep them all together. And at one point they were arranged by color. Um, so I keep those in there for journaling. And then the last pocket that's in here, I have my pens. I store them upside down um, so that the ink is like always towards the bottom. And then I have some paper clips in here, uh, just a random screen that I thought was good for the Revival Camp. It's a pine cone. And then these are the little envelopes that come in the devotional kits. And I totally got this idea from Andrea, Retro Hip Mama. Um, so what she does and what I now do is um, I go ahead and take the stamp backer and then I cut it apart and I put everything in here so that it's together. And then this sticker is in here too because I'm not sure how I'm going to use these yet and I don't use much of the die cuts in the Bible but um, they're 
in here like all of the the cards and things like that and then all of the shapes that I cut out so they live in this nice little envelope sorted by kit and then I go ahead and close it with a paper clip I haven't decided whether or not I want to use like the clips and tabs and things on my Bible I kind of like just opening it up and uh, it being a surprise that there's like paint and words and stickers and things in there so I keep these in this little pocket over here. And that's pretty much it. This is everything that I managed to cram into this one bag and then I lug it around everywhere with me. So I hope that was interesting to you. I hope you guys maybe got some tips. If you guys want to see more videos like these or just want to see something else, I'd be open to hearing about that too. But I just love hearing from you guys. So leave me a comment below if you have, uh, you know, anything to say or contribute or just want to say hi or whatever. I will see you guys Wednesday with a new Bible journaling entry. See you then.